All right, guys, finally, look what we got. Check it out. This started like two days ago and it hasn't stopped yet. We're supposed to get, I think like 40 centimeters by tomorrow. So you know what I'm gonna be doing? And actually, if you have a look at the ass end of that snowmobile, you know what I was doing yesterday. So yes, I am definitely gonna get out and do some riding and I will get some of that on video for you. Before I do that, I'm gonna get the ATV out and clear some snow. Before I do that, I wanna do a little modification to the plow setup on it. All right, so here's the current setup, and I did talk about this in a previous video. So to raise and lower the plow on this ATV, I'm using the winch. And right now the winch is connected directly to the plow. There's a couple of problems with that. So the entire weight of this plow and any snow and ice stuck to it are on my cable and my winch. The other problem, if you look at the way the cable comes out of this winch and then it bends quite sharply and goes down to where it's attached to the plow. So there's a lot of friction right here. I wanna see what I can do to reduce all of that. All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you the low cost modification that I did to this setup to take some of the load and strain off of my winch and winch cable. All right, so I've got two goals with this modification. The first thing I wanna do is kind of try and spread some of this load out a little bit so it's not all pulling directly on the winch cable. Uh, and the second thing I wanna do, if I can, is reduce the angle that this cable is coming out of the winch a little bit. So I'm gonna do those things by introducing a pulley into this setup. It's gonna work a little bit like a block and tackle where you're spreading that load out over a longer distance. So you're reducing the effort that it takes to do the same amount of work. All right, so all the parts I got for this modification, I got from Princess Auto. From my friends in the US, I think that's kind of the equivalent of your Harbor Freight. So this was all under 20 bucks. Now I did get a couple of things on this on sale, but it's still right around the 20 buck range. So the first thing I got, this is an axle strap so specifically it's an ericsson axle strap uh, it's a two inch by 24 inch and it's rated for 5,000 pounds so more than enough for the weight of that plow um, this is a swivel pulley it's important that it swivels so that no matter where you set it up depending on where your winch is it's going to line up properly um, now initially i got like an inch and a half pulley that wasn't enough because the cable would end up getting kinked as it goes around it so uh, this is a two and a half i would say two and a half if not three inch is a good size for the pulley that was about 10 bucks as well i think and then the other thing i got was a shackle because the other thing I wanted to do was reduce the angle that that cable goes down with. So if I get the pulley up a little bit higher, you'll see in a second, uh, it's going to reduce that angle. So I got this shackle. Okay, I'm just going to start by taking the pulley roller out so I can get the cable in. That's pretty cool. I don't even need any tools for this. So I'm just going to put my shackle on there. And I'm going to put that through the hoop where my cable used to attach. Just tighten that up. So you can see we're now, hook, instead of hooking down here, we're gonna be running to here. So it reduces that angle a little bit. All right, now we're just gonna put our winch cable into our pulley. <laughs> it actually gets hard, your hands get cold. Okay. Now what a lot of guys will do, they'll run that cable through that pulley and then back up and hook it onto this bar here. I don't want this getting all scratched to hell. So that's where that axle strap comes in. Okay, so I'm gonna take this axle strap, I'm gonna put it through this bar here. Make sure these are even. Snug that up. Okay, now i take my winch cable and hook it onto these. All right, so now when I pull that winch cable in, so that load is spread out a little bit more now. You notice that plow lifts slower. And this does look like it's rubbing on here, but it's actually just touching. So it's not gonna scratch my plastic up. All right, so there you go. We have reduced the load that's on this cable and winch by spreading it out. Now we have two points of contact. We're lifting up on this pulley instead of just down on this roller. Um, the cable isn't kinked quite as much. It's not going down on quite as sharp an angle to here, especially as the plow comes up. That angle actually reduces because the pulley comes up higher and we spread that load out. All right, let's try it out.
All right, the one thing I think I'll change up in the future, I'm going to drill a hole up in this frame so that I can move this shackle and get it a little bit farther forward just to get more of an angle on that cable. Otherwise, it worked really good. All right, guys, there you go. Listen, if you have an ATV and you live in an area that gets a fair bit of snow in the winter and you don't have a plow for it yet, you're really missing out. It's not only way easier to clean the snow, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. I end up doing my neighbors and the roadway, and yeah, you should really think about it. All right, guys, so there is my improvised ATV plow pulley modification for under 20 bucks. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. Until next time, I'm David Clark. Thanks for taking the time to watch. All right, now what a lot of guys will do, they'll run that cable through this pulley and then up to the bar on the front of the sled. Oh, the sled. All right, so there you go. There is... <laughs> swinging my eyes around.